Hello and welcome back to Speed Demon Painting. Today we are taking a look at the July releases, which will be released at the end of July and are available for pre-order now in June. This month sees the release of uh, three separate boxes, of which one is a really really big one and two of the plastic sets are uh, smaller squadrons of things that we have seen released in the past before. On top of that, we also have a couple of uh, MDF kits that they released last month that are now available as separately uh, available pieces. So uh, if you like those, make sure you uh, check those out as well. First of all, let's check out what is coming for Dystopian Wars and uh, the major release this month is the Zanma Dao Battle Fleet set. Uh, the Zanma Dao Sky Fortress is available to any uh, Empire players and it comes with this massive central thing that we already saw the, the preview art for, uh, for in some of the releases for the rules that we've seen recently. But yeah, it'll now be available to, uh, to everyone who plays with the Empire. The set doesn't just include the giant's uh, sky fortress though, it also comes with two of the smaller fortresses uh, and as you can see the giant one is made up of uh, pretty much four of them connected together with this central tower unit, uh, m meaning that I imagine that it is six plastic uh, spruce coming in this set um, because you also get six SRS tokens so those can be found on this sprue as well. The big impressive centerpiece model is of course the Zanma Dao Sky Fortress itself and uh, yeah like I said you can see the four um, sort of yeah, symmetrical units making up the four corners of the Sky Fortress but then coming with an even larger construction down the center which acts as a shield generator tower to protect your uh, Sky Fortress if I'm not mistaken uh, normally a shield generator cannot deduct more than three dice from your opponent's attack dice, but this one is an even bigger one that uh, allows it to uh, detract the whole mass value of this uh, enormous San Madao Sky Fortress, and yeah, that's a big one. Apart from the four central units, it seems like you can also make one of the side units out of it, so I imagine that can be found on one sprue, and perhaps one side of the central tower can also be found on that same sprue, so you can actually connect all of four of them together. and. Uh, it's a bit odd when you look at the current Orbat now, uh, because, well, it has these four heavy rocket batteries sitting down those central connecting lines, and then the four dojos on top of it. So, uh, yeah, let's uh, hope that the new Orbats get around here soon, uh, so we can see a bit of an updated rule to this model as well. Uh, speaking of the Orbats, by the way, I've recently actually made the plunge and become a warhost myself, and uh, that means that uh, yeah, we get a bit of a preview of a lot of these uh, Orbats, so we can skim through them and uh, make sure that there's as few mistakes as humanly possible in there. It's quite a bit of uh, work to flesh it all out, but they are being worked on, and uh, you know, let's hope we can see them soon, because you know, there is an update needed. Uh, currently in the Orbat there are only four heavy weapon systems uh, mentioned on this San Madao, but it uh, doesn't mention at all the different uh, dojos coming on top of them. Um, they are currently still an option for you to upgrade the heavy gun batteries, which appears to be heavy rocket batteries in this build. So uh, yeah, I imagine there's quite a few different weapon options on this sprue as well. Like I said, it's not just the heavy Zanma Dao fortress that you can make, you can make the smaller ones, which is the Ziwei here, seen here. It's more of the fighting platform, if you build it this way. Um, comes with the, the top, uh, which uh, can be a rocket battery or a heavy gun battery, should you so desire. And it comes with broadsides pretty much facing in each direction. In addition, the rules allow you to upgrade those broadsides to uh, heavy Hokyangs as well. So I'm guessing these smaller side platforms can actually be replaced with Hokyangs to sort of spit fire from above uh, if you want to use them in a more aggressive faction, uh, fashion as well and uh, use a template. As you can see when we're checking out this model from uh, the back, it is incredibly similar compared to what it looks like from uh, from the front. And uh, that is actually reflected in their rules. They can just turn in whichever way you want them to. Uh, any side can become the front-facing side, should you so desire, during gameplay. So it really moves in a quite a funky way as well. The second build option for the smaller Sky Fortresses is the 
Tianxiao, I hope I'm saying that right. And uh, as you can see, they replaced one of the broadside facings with a sort of launch platforms to launch SRS from. And this is pretty big news for uh, the Empire players because that means you have more readily available access to normal SRS tokens. Um, normally it's the Koreans with their flying ships that are going to do be doing the brunt of the SRS uh, availability for the Empire, but it seems that this special variant of uh, the Sky Fortress also has Korean pilots in there to launch SRS as well, so yeah, rejoice! You're no longer left behind when it comes to that type of gameplay if you're an Empire player. And as a small thingy, you can also still change the signs if you want with heavy Hawk Yanks, so you can really turn them into a very aggressively kitted out um, yeah, ship that just goes in a carrier, if you will, that goes in uh, for the kill, because as far as carriers go, this one is actually quite tough, as you'd expect it to be for a uh, Skykeep. So, yep, seems like a very interesting build option to make. And then finally, one last thing, uh, if everything goes uh, according to plan, the uh, War Cradle is sending me one of these for, uh, for a bit of a review as well. And I'm actually going to see if I can't make any of those foam rocks that I once did a guide on. You can find that one on the channel as well if you uh, want to check it out and uh, subscribe for any of the future updates along for that as well. Um, but yeah, I'm going to experiment with melding this with foam structures to sort of really make some very cool uh, empire terrain and create a new playing board as well for uh, both our local store and uh, my own gaming table. Apart from the Zanma Dao though, we are also seeing some good news for uh, any Alliance players. The Italians are getting their support squadrons uh, available to them now as individual sets. Which is a good thing because they were previously only available if you got the large uh, Minerva battle fleet set. And uh, sadly that didn't come with a full squadron of these uh, uh, submarines. And now you actually can get them uh, with this uh, individual set. We know these by now, they have the different uh, artillery pieces, the Scorpio uh, artillery cruiser that you can see here. If you want more SRS tokens that are slightly more durable than the French Levant versions, you can of course build the Jupiter class support. And if you want to emphasize their, uh, their toughness and repair your ships as you go along, you can create these Vulcan classes alongside them as well. And like I said, the most useful unit to uh, expand on is probably the uh, Sakita class Hunter submarine, where uh, you can get some uh, quite frightening torpedo gameplay in your alliance set, uh, should you want to. And of course it comes with uh, two Puccio destroyers per uh, sprue, so you're getting four of them if you get these. Um, small gun batteries are pretty amazing right now because of their high support value and uh, point, uh, well, closing range I should say. And uh, yeah, that means that you can never really have enough of those. Um, usually you tend to be a bit swarmed with Mass 1 ships if you buy the plastics, but they really are worth it with these uh, Puggio class destroyers. And then finally the last release is the, the individual Sky uh, Sky Fleet for the uh, Enlightened Aerial Squadrons, where um, if you're not familiar with these and didn't check out the last video, you need two sprues to create this one Mass 3 big saucer that you find in here, and then each sprue also is able to build a smaller one as well, so you can now get two sprues to build this setup as you see it here. So if you bought the Thule Battle uh, Fleet set and you do want to uh, expand on your uh, Adamski uh, or the Hanabao or Valtor build options, you can do so with this set. Um, the one downside I thought there was about the Thule Battle Fleet set is that it only came with one of these larger sea bases. Uh, well, it came with one too few, I should say, uh, because you couldn't just get three of them and create three individual saucers. This set actually fixes that, and you can now get more of these gorgeous big Mass 3 ships coming along with you as well. And then finally, if you're looking for something that is more like a Cthulhu-style type of uh, scenery, or, well, 
pretty much the Ghostbusters setup. You can uh, get this miscam uh, p uh, fire station uh, set individually now. I always thought that was the the, the most uh, <laughs> well, the funniest one of uh, the rest of them. If you're unfamiliar with these, these are actually pre-primed MDF kits. Um, none of this stuff was painted up. It's just if you assemble it, it'll end up looking like this. So if you're unfamiliar with War Cradle Scenics, uh, if you really want to get some uh, terrain on, uh, on on your tabletop really fast and not put in too much effort, uh, well, you can do it this way. Um, nothing stopping you, of course, from uh, putting them on a few extra layers of paint yourself, but if I'm being honest, if you look at it like this, it's going to look perfectly fine. And, uh, well, we all sort of have a bit of a shortage on time, at least. I always find myself buying more stuff than I can paint rapidly, and I am a fairly rapid painter myself. Uh, so having uh, some pre-primed MDF kits like this definitely looks like a, a handy little addition. And uh, if you don't want to splash out on the whole set in one go, you can get them individually here now. And yeah, I think they're really quite nice. There we have it. That is the last bit of uh, new releases coming in July. I hope you liked these. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. And uh, I do hope to see you in the next video. See you then. Bye.